Dear Muskan, when can I talk to you? We want to finish the film and I have a few questions. Thank you. Hello, dear. I don't want this film. I even deleted my articles. My family are in serious situation nowadays. So I am totally under pressure. My story is a story of many. This is not my face, yet I am here. This is not my voice, yet my words. I won't show my identity because I'm worried about my family. My name is Mushgan. I am from Afghanistan. I was a women's activist and was attacked by an enemy previously. I had 14 knife injuries in my back. When the Taliban came, everyone was searching for an opportunity to get out of the country. Especially my situation was so sensitive. I first arrived in Germany on January 7th, 2022. It's difficult for me. It's the first time I'm separated from my family. But I felt safe. I could finally relax. I went to Berlin with a program of Afghan women. We meet in different cities and we are connecting, making a network and making friendships. When I was there, I was amazed that everyone was talking in English. I felt so relaxed and people were so kind. It was very different than what I imagined. When I was there, I understood about the culture of Germany. I was so active in this country in the one year since I'm here. I did a lot, but at the same time I'm thinking that I'm still 80% in Afghanistan and I'm still struggling to be here and not there. In Afghanistan, I was working at the president's office and was studying at American University. After the Taliban came to power, everyone there was worried about what would happen to them. I was sending emails to the embassies saying that I need help. You should give me an opportunity to leave the country as soon as possible. They made a list of all women who were working in my project and they would evacuate us to Germany. I had to leave alone and leave my family behind. For me, the paintings of the wall and the story of the wall were amazing. I was thinking that in Germany, horrible things happen, just like in Afghanistan. This country also has a history of struggle, but they have peace today. They have everything settled. They have a past also. The same struggle like Afghan people today. And in the same way, we should be hopeful for our country. We have the future generations. We should be hopeful for the future of today's children, that this government will change and something good will happen to the country. We can't do anything, but we can have hope. There was one painting I was focusing on. There was something good about it. There was a chain and a rose as well. With one picture, I understand several things. I see pain, I see peace. I see the problems and at the same time I can see the solutions. The chain for me is all of the problems. Like one problem is connected to another.
And at the end, we have to find a solution for solving all the problems. Then these flowers will come. I want to stay in connection with my country. The young people in Afghanistan need me. I have a lot of responsibility, especially for the women whom I could not help to leave the country. I will continue my struggle, even if nothing will happen. I think it's very important because some people just have to fight in order to try to make a difference and change something.